Hi guys, hope you're good. So today is a beauty haul and I've kind of gone a little crazy, which isn't good, but I think because mortgage is kind of settling now, I'm getting slightly itchy feet in terms of quick I need to spend some money because I haven't spent some for quite a while which is naughty I shouldn't be doing it but I haven't spent a ridiculous amount of money I've just seemed to have collated a lot so the first thing that I um, ordered was from Body Shop and um, they had a code that I received and I think it was something like 40% off which is pretty good and these are the things that I ordered so the first thing I ordered was this Shea um, Cocoa, Shea Cocoa, Shea Butter, um, like, body scrub. Now, this is the only scrub that I like of Body Shop. I find that the other one, the other one that I tried was the coconut one. I really didn't like it. It just had coconut shell in it, and I just found it irritated me, really. As in, I didn't like it, not that it irritated my skin. But this one, I just found worked. Smells lush, it leaves your skin really smooth. So, um, yeah, so happy that I got this again. But I've got to say, they seem to have changed their packaging a lot with their scrubs and their body butters. And it appears that the packaging is smaller. So you kind of think you're not getting as much product. But I think the amount is still the same. I'm not sure. But yeah, so I got that. And uh, I don't know how much I got it for. And then I want to say five or six pounds. It was really, really good anyway, the amount that I got it for. So really happy with that. Next thing that I got is this um, Chamomile Sumptuous Cleansing Butter. This is for all skin types. I was a little bit hesitant on whether to get this or not because I was worried it's going to make my skin really greasy. And all you do is you just apply it to your skin and just it melts your, your makeup away. It smells lush, it really smells divine, and it feels like a gel almost like a hard gel. Um, and it just warms up in your hands, so you can just rub it in your hands and then apply it on, and it melts. Your, melts your skin away, melts your makeup off. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to trying that. And now I think this retails, oh god, I'm rubbish with, so I'm getting pins and needles on my feet. I'm rubbish with um, prices, so I'm not quite sure how much it actually retails for. But yeah, again, I think I got this for about five, six pounds. So um, hopefully it's gonna be a good one because I love the smell of it and I like quite like the funky tin. So yeah, there's that. Next thing that I got that I do know the price of, was this hair chalk and I got it in pink and I cannot wait to try this as I've really really wanted to do it and um, I've wanted to have my hair pink but not that I haven't had the guts I just think okay A I don't think my bloke's gonna like it and B I'm getting married in October so I don't really want to have pink hair at my wedding personally I'm not saying it's not a good thing to have just for me I wouldn't have it so I thought, right, if I just try it like this, if I really love it, then after the wedding, I'm going to just go for it. So, yeah, there's that. And this is £5. And um, you also get it in blue as well, so I cannot wait to try that. Next thing that I got was this lipstick. As you guys know, I have a thing about Body Shop Colour Crush lipsticks. And I've got three shades already. And I have actually got a video on that, um, a review, so I'll try and link that below for you. And but this time I thought I'd get a nude, nudie kind of colour corally. So this is in the shade 215. Ah, oh, that's not very good, is it? Oh man, look! The top is mushed up. Well, at least the lipstick's intact, I guess. That's kind of annoying though. Um, so I'll just swatch it. A real beautiful pink. Look at that. That is so so pretty. So I'm looking forward to putting that bad boy on with a tan. Oh, I see what it is, it doesn't actually go down. So therefore when you put the lid on, it crushes the little baby. Oh dear. Anyway, there's that one, so that's in 215. These lipsticks are 10 pounds, and with the 40% off, I don't quite know how much I spent, but yeah, it wasn't that much at all, so there's that as well. Next thing, next place I ordered off was Kiko. I have never tried any of these products, and I thought, just go for it less because I watched uh, another YouTuber's channel, I think it's Gabrielle, and uh, is that her? Velvet Ghost, that's her name of her channel, and she's called Gabrielle, and basically she did a Kiko haul, and she got me tempted, so I blame her. <laughs> so the first thing that I got was this lipstick, and this is the Exotic Shine lipstick, and it is in the shade 90, and it is this funky gold packaging, 
and this is their it was a it was a summer range I think they've got out at the moment and that's what this is from so it's just a gold gold packaging and that's the shade and let me get a swatch it is such a lush pink really really moisturizing as well so that's it there if you can see that so there's that I think these are about six pounds if I'm right and the next thing that I got was um, where is it? This. This is a super gloss, and this is what Velvet Ghost Gabrielle was saying. Is it Gabrielle Gabriella? I don't know. I hope I'm not getting it wrong, but there it is. And she was saying how amazing it was. So I thought, right, okay, I'm going to try it. So it's 119, and it's like a pink, like a bright pink with real tiny little specks of glitter in. So that's the top, the little nib bit there and that's the gloss there it's a, like a light pink I'd say I hope the lighting's not going really bad because it's suddenly got a little bit darker and then the next thing that I got was this luminous chrome lipstick this is from their normal range this is in 713 the thing I love about it is the packaging I find it looks really unusual and it looks really expensive so all you've got to do is press the top hang on there we go, lift it up and then you've got this lush pink, I love that colour pink and then a pearlescent like blue and look at that colour, it is so pretty so I will swatch it here as you can see I'm loving my pinks at the moment, it's like a metallic um, girl about town from MAC I'd say, so that's it there and yet again this is about £6 I think, so it's not that bad at all and I love the packaging of them Next from them I got two blushes, one is a lip and cheek um, like tint and it's in Venus pink and it's glow touch, the only thing I'm finding with this is I struggle to open it so that was quite good for me actually I think I probably got the knack of it and that is the colour here which is there, the pigmentation is unreal with their products and this is such a beautiful colour I cannot wait to get this going with a tan so that is it there and this I think was about £4, it wasn't that expensive at all. The next thing I got was this soft touch blush in the shade 110. So it's got quite sleek, soft to the touch um, packaging on their blushes. Comes with a mirror and that is the shade there, so a real Barbie pink. I'm really loving my pinks at the moment. The other day I thought, okay, I'm not a pink girl, I'm not that pink at all. Looked at my makeup and I thought, oh, no. I am, I am pretty pink. So that's what I got from Kiko. And the last thing that I got was from e.l.f. Now e.l.f. had a 50% off which I was so happy about because I've had a massive um, basket of in, because they save what you put in the basket which I really like because a lot of other companies don't. I had all this stuff in there and I just kept waiting for the 50%, I just kept waiting and waiting and then it came and I was like yes! So I quickly got that. So all of this was 20 odd pounds which is brilliant. So, considering it was going to be about 50. Right, so I haven't actually looked at this at all, as you can see, because it's all red still in their packaging. Get the nasty stuff out of the way. So the first thing that I got was this liquid eyeliner in black, and this was £1.95. So this is with the 50% off. So um, it's got a fine tip, and yeah, looking forward to trying that. Next thing that I got was a high definition powder and it is in clear and I got it for 6 95 so that's it there, it's quite big but I've heard a lot of good things about this and I really wanted to try it so I thought I'd give it a go and um, yeah, see how that one goes. Next thing I got was this e.l.f. Um, infused face primer in clear, I, yet again I've heard loads of really good things about this one so I thought I'd give it a go and um, hope that it works. I've heard so many good things about e.l.f. so I'm really hoping it's a good brand and then the next thing that I got was this mineral lipstick in the shade Rich Raspberry. And so their lipsticks are like that. So it's like that. So it's a swatch over here. So there we go, that pigmentation is so good. I'm really finding high street um, brands are doing really well with pigmentation at the moment. So there's that one. And then the next item I got was this Dramatic Lash Kit. I'm getting into my fake lashes at the moment. Never used to, but I'm at, I am at the present. Not that I'm very good at it particularly, but I need to get practicing, so I thought I'd get that. 
and this was $1.95 with the um, amount of money off with half price and then that lipstick was uh, £5. Next thing I got was this matte lip colour. I've really wanted to try these and this is in the shade Natural. Um, they're, a new, they're a new thing that they've got. It's like a jumbo size lip pencil basically and it's a matte colour. So yeah, there's that one that I got and that's Natural. Next one I got was in Tea Rose which I've heard a lot of good things about. And the next thing I got was, oh I got two Tea Roses. Oh what a numpty. What a weirdo I am, I don't know how that happened. Two tea roses. Oh, there we go. Then I got this mineral eyeshadow, and the mineral eyeshadow is in the shade. God, this is like Christmas. And the shade Royal, which is like a grey sparkle, I'd say, like a grey sparkly colour. And it reminds me a lot of the Barry M um, uh, eyeshadows that you can get that are all minerally and go on so pigmented I love them so yeah there's that one that I got and then next I got were two blushes one in pink passion oh blimey and one in candid coral so a coral shade and a pink shade surprise surprise pink and they were 3 99 each with the half price and then the what did I show you before? The mineral um, eyeshadow, that was £3 with the amount off. And then the next thing I got was a baked blush in Passion Pink, which looks like such a beautiful blusher. I like baked blushes and baked eyeshadows at the moment. Let's see if I can get this one out for you. There we go. And that's it there, which is so lovely. You can see like threads of pink through it. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So that is my haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If there's anything else that you think I should be buying, please let me know because I'm kind of on a bit of a woo. And I think the reason I'm being like this at the moment is because A, of the mortgage, and B, I think I've become a bit obsessed with makeup collection videos on YouTube. So if you've got one, please link it in the down bar and I can have a little watch. And they're all kind of inspiring me to buy things. So probably not very good, but I'm enjoying it. So hey, thank you everybody. Bye.